Well, guys, the day is finally here. We're finally talking about animals in Farming Simulator 22. Now, it's been a busy couple of weeks for news and updates for Farming Simulator 22. Had lots of little hints, some new news, and, well, some stuff that's changed on what to expect. But to be honest, I'm feeling a little underwhelmed today, guys. A little underwhelmed. You know what? Let's talk about it. <laughs> So that intro may have been a little bit harsh. Was it harsh? I mean, it wasn't that bad, was it? Things are still good. We're all still looking forward to Farming Simulator 22. In fact, in the past couple of weeks, we've got a few new updates and a lot of new stuff. I mean, we got a lot of information on production chains and what they're going to do, how you're going to use them and what they're going to look like when they're in, in the game. Guys, the more I look at production chains, the more I'm excited for what the modding community is actually going to do with this new tool. Speaking of which, you know what? Drop down in the comments what you think will be the best thing, the best production chain element the modding community will do to help make this a better part of Farming Simulator. You know what? You guys know what I'm thinking, right? You guys know what I'm thinking. On top of the production chains, guys, we've got an update on features that may have been changed or updated for Farming Sim 22 after they've got some feedback from the community. Those updates include the sorghum, which will now be harvested accurately, only the tops get cut off when harvesting now. I hate to say this, but I didn't know that's how sorghum was harvested. I'm sure there was a few of you in the community that let them know that though. Secondly, there were changes to the graphics engine to give it more natural shadows, a change to the color grading, and it results in a more natural looking surrounding. Once again, I'm sure the community were instrumental in getting this changed after uh, watching some of the trailer releases during FarmCon and GamesCon. And lastly, and by far the most important thing for me on that list, was the seasonal cycles has now changed in order to have 28 days per month instead of the one day per month system they had originally slated for the seasonal cycles. This one definitely gets KBOT's vote of approval for sure. Now to top off the recent events for Farming Simulator 22, this recent news, we also got to see a screenshot that shows off three different size straw bales. The Giants still are not talking too much about this yet. Of course not. So let's dive into what we are actually talking about. The final piece of one of the puzzles of Farming Simulator 22, animals and wildlife. Everything you need to know about animals and wildlife. Well, now there's a heck of a lot. So where do we start with this? Well, to be honest, let's just start off with what we knew. Well, before this latest blog post, of course, we knew animals were returning once again to Farming Simulator 22. We saw pictures of a few of them and we knew there would be some of them returning. Not exactly sure what before this. I mean, I just can't get that picture of the cow with its tongue sticking out, out of my head. We also knew that the animals were going to be involved in the all new production chains elements. And lastly, wildlife were going to be a part of Farming Simulator 22, or at least we saw them in some of the trailers for Farming Simulator 22. However, it was also noted that during some of the conferences that wildlife may not potentially be in the final version of the game as it was still being developed. And really guys, that was about it. That's what we knew. So. What do we know now? Well, let's start with the animals that have been confirmed for Farming Simulator 22. And to be honest, things really haven't changed that much since Farming Sim 19. Now, in case you forgot, of course, we've got our cattle, we've got our pigs, we've got horses, we've got sheep, and yes, we've got puppers. We still got the pups. Did I miss any? Chicken, horses, pigs, cattle, sheep, pups. I think I got them all, right? I think that's it. So what all has changed? I mean, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? That's what's on our minds right now. What's changed with animals for Farming Simulator 22? And the answer to that, that question, other than production chains, if we're going to rule that out, nothing. Nada, zip, and zilch. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Well, at least that we're aware of. Yeah, that's right, guys. It looks like Farming Simulator 22 animals for all intents and purposes, are pretty much identical to Farming Simulator 19 animals. Now, some of you may remember back earlier this year when the announcement for Farming Simulator 22 was put out, there was a blog post put out by Giants, and they talked a little bit about, and I quote, cuter animals. Now, some of us may have been reading into that a little bit too much, it looks like. I mean, we may have been expecting possibly some baby pigs, some, some baby sheep, some, some baby cows. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like that's a thing. The, the cuter animals they were referring to in those blog posts and also in the latest one, 
is just the new textures to the sheep. Um, once again. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. So with that being said, we do now at least have some new higher res screenshots of all our favorite animals. And yes, they all look really good. I mean, we have the hens. They look to be clucking. The cows, those guys look to be mooing. The horses, actually, look at the trailer. That horse trailer looks sweet. Uh, where was I? Where was I? The horses, they, they look to be horsing and, and the sheep look to be sheeping. Lastly, we got the pigs. They look to be smiling. Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? Like, kill the light, so baby, close your eyes. The way you look at me. So let's look into exactly what Giants has to say about what we're going to be doing with our livestock come Farming Simulator 22. Here are the 10 reasons to keep animals on your farm. They make your farm more lively. They diversify your farming experience. They generate additional income in various ways. They give you something to do during the winter. They produce resources, of course. They produce manure, which is a cheap organic fertilizer. They allow you to discover the land by riding horses. They can increase your yield of your crops. More on that soon. And they give you a reason to put on a beekeeper outfit. And they are cute and fluffy, especially cheap. Ouch, that still hurts. Yeah, folks, I'm definitely disappointed by the sounds of things. We don't get baby animals. That little cuter sheep shot right at the end still it's still it's still deep it still hits me so deep now of course there are still a lot of good things to be taken from all of this and maybe some more interesting stuff that we could talk about that were listed here i mean they talk again about bees which is somewhat interesting are bees considered a livestock hmm. and giants what's with the seventh point they can increase the yield of your crops more on that soon Oh, here we go again. Why are we still hiding stuff? Come on, you're killing me here. I mean, I assume we're talking about bees in that post since we've already talked about manure beforehand. And that little bullet point kind of coincides with the bullet point afterwards where it talks about the beekeeper's outfit. But to be fair, when they talked about cuter animals and we're not talking about baby animals anymore, and we're just talking about the sheep. I'm a little bit gun shy to make any kind of predictions now. So, so like I said, I'm a little on the underwhelmed side with all this new information. I mean, really, there's nothing here we didn't know beforehand. Now, this animal preview did also include a picture of the puppers, the farm sim dog, which for all intents and purposes looks identical, even the same doghouse. And once again, zero write-up, so no new news on this. We can assume that the puppers is pretty much the same thing as in Farming Simulator 19. And secondly, we get a picture of a deer once again. A picture of one deer. Once again, Giants, I need to ask, is that confirmation that wildlife is in the game officially? I mean, you did call this the Animals and Wildlife preview but you didn't go on and mention anything about wildlife in the blog post whatsoever all we got was this one picture giants you guys are killing me here you're absolutely killing me here so folks that's really all i got for you on this blog post i mean i could put a positive spin on this but you know me i do tend to speak my mind at times and even if that gets me in trouble it's got to be said don't get me wrong I'm still extremely excited for Farming Simulator 22. In fact, I've still got multiple copies pre-ordered. Speaking of which, pre-order links down in the description below if you're looking to pre-order Farming Simulator 22. What is it, one month away? But I really had high hopes we were going to see something new with animals in Farming Simulator 22 this year. Hey, question for you folks. Go down in the description below, check out the poll, vote on what you guys do with animals. Do you guys care if the animals are the same as Farming Simulator 19 or not do you guys even use animals make sure you guys vote down there and of course drop a comment down below on maybe what is the animal of choice you use on all your farms i would love to hear from you down there so there you have it folks that is all the new news and updates for farming simulator 22 of course we still do have a few more weeks of updates coming hey giants we still haven't heard about workers that worker menu that was a while ago now you need to tell us more about that like pronto so be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so, so you don't miss anything going on with Farming Simulator 22. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, slap the like, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, folks. Cheers.